Now hold on tight as we take a trip out onto the waves of the Galilee. Prepare your notes as our guides, Dr. Carl Koch and Anton Farah, take us on a geographical tour through the biblical cities surrounding its northern borders. Destination, Sea of Galilee. We are in the Sea of Galilee. To our right is to the west, that is Jewish. To the left is Gentile. Now, on the north side of the Sea of Galilee, we have some important biblical sites. As we move north and then east, we come to the place of Tabga. You know, this area really, the area of Tabga, all of this is Tabga. Here where he multiplied fish and loaves. Jesus loved this area. We call it Del Manuta also, Del Manuta. Del Manuta is like a deserted area near the Sea of Galilee. Jesus used to go to spend a little time on his own. He loved this area. He catch fish with his disciples. Now, directly ahead of the ship, we see a mountain with a church on it, and there is a plain between the church and the trees down to the Sea of Galilee. This is the Mount of the Beatitudes, and below it is the place Capernaum. Capernaum. We take it as symbolical name, Kafar, the village of the consoler. Nahum in Hebrew and Aramaic, it means the one consoling you. This is the meaning of the village, really. Now, this was Jesus' hometown for ministry. For three years, you know, where he used to go and to come, you know. <laughs> How many nights did he stay here? How many days? Nobody knows, really. But this man, don't forget, it's a station, indeed station in his walks. A little bit above the shoreline here behind us is the place Chorazin. We shall now move to the area of the synagogue and uh, discuss very, very important things that we see in this synagogue at Chorazin that perhaps were the reasons why the Lord Jesus cursed Bethsaida, Chorazin, and Capernaum for their lack of faith. Way over to the distance where the Jordan enters the Sea of Galilee, Bethsaida. You know, really we have at least three names of disciples. They were from Bethsaida and the Gospel. And later the Byzantine, they added another uh, four. We have seven disciples from Bethsaida, according to Byzantine seven. According to the Gospel, we have three from Bethsaida. It's a uh, so this would have been a place visited by Jesus, and we shall see inside the city gates a very important place where the gospel reveals mm -hmm. that the Lord brought his clinic, his healing clinic to this area. The reception point over here in the valley is the place Kersey, and the boats would take travelers across the lake. Then they could continue behind the mountain all the way to the north to Damascus. I come from Magdala across the sea, I get off the boat, I come to this station, coffee, food, preparation, and then I begin my journey east, and then suddenly behind the mountains, I turn north to Damascus. It's not far away from here. And we must remember at the time of Jesus, the border between the Jewish towns and the Gentile towns of the Decapolis is the Sea of Galilee itself. The east side of the Sea of Galilee, this is the other side. And indeed, if we are in the center of the Sea of Galilee, you can see Mount Hermon. And below it, those are the Golan Heights. And this Golan Heights uh, on the eastern shore of the Sea of Galilee is flat, and it is very fruitful. The ground is really very fruitful ground because it's deep dust. You know, the more we go to the north, we go to the volcanic eruption. The where we go down to the south, we go to where the dust used to reach. And we find wheat, we find wheat, fruit trees. Wheat, barley, lentil. We find lentil beans. Yeah, we Olives. Now, Magdala, or Migdal in Hebrew, means a tower. And at night, I am told they would put fire because the boats would cross east to west, west to east. So Anton, we are standing on the first century road of the port of Magdala. 
There was a lot of industry happening here connected with the produce of the lake, the fish. The only town on the western seaboard of the Sea of Galilee until the year 19 was Magdala that we know about. Yes, sir. It had the infrastructure for the fish processing. So clever fishermen on the Sea of Galilee got an extra penny on the pound for the fish here because they were exporting to Rome, as Flavius Josephus as comments. Josephus says, yes. And it went through the port of Caesarea Maritima. That's right. We mean so yesterday. when they were leaving from here to go back to Bethsaida and Capernaum across the lake, they were going with their money. They were paid for their fish. They were mm. happy. And who comes along whistling? And he gets on their boat and he goes with them. It's maybe easier to go by boat to Capernaum than to walk through the marshes around the lake. Oh, much more easy. Shortcut. Across the lake. Yeah. So then he is traveling with them in the boat. He is, as we would say today, chilling out with them. <laughs> he is chilling with them. Mm. He is sharing his heart. They are in a mood to listen. They're finished their work. They're relaxing. Maybe they have bought something here, a nice drink and they are going back happily after their intense work fishing. And he has come in from Nazareth and he's going to Capernaum, his village. So here we can see a real context.